All right, well, somewhat exciting news for us uh, Kansas guys and around Kansas City. I'm uh, I'm out by Leavenworth, and we got a new Harbor Freight. So I bought their heavy-duty uh, bench grinder deal. Oh, we got more boxes to open. Um, I want a stand for my uh, my belt grinder. I don't think that I ever did a video on it. Got this little, little tray with our bolts. And we got the top pedestal. Figure we'll do a little put together video and then I'll show you guys my bench grinder. I turn the I turn my big heater off just now because it's noisy. And I think I'm gonna turn it back on because the temperature's dropping in here. I can feel it. I've got my little radiant heater, I guess. I guess we could work in front of that. I was hanging heaters and I abandoned it because doing it off this ladder. This ladder's not quite tall enough for me because I'm a little short guy. I'm like on that rung, or well, I'm on that rung up there. It's not the last rung. It's not real comfortable. I think it usually says not a step, but you can use it as a step. But I've got rolling stairs back here, so I'm gonna see if I can't uh, if I can't talk my wife into helping me tomorrow. But we'll work in front of that little guy because it heats up pretty good. But. We'll see what this thing's like. I'm sure that we just take this and put that in there. We're not gonna worry about the instructions. I don't know what the hole's for. Sounds like maybe somebody's at my house. Um, all right, well, take the bolts up in there first. Yep, somebody's at my house. FedEx, UPS, Amazon, somebody. Usually the FedEx guy will knock on the door of the shop if my truck's there. But so it may not be him or it might not be my normal guy. All right, what is that? 15 mil? That's what it looks like. Got a little ratchet thing over there. Let's check it. What do we got? 15? Nope, 16. 16 or 5 eighths. Whichever one you prefer. Come over here. I've already got my little ratchet thingamajig. A little Milwaukee thing. I kind of like this. Better is probably not dead. No, three bars. You probably don't have to be crazy tight. Tight enough to keep the tube in. All right, put the little little thingy on the tray. I don't know where I'm gonna want him at. Let's see about right there. See from there, maybe about there. Surely that's not what that hole. You're supposed to line that up. Surely they didn't get that 
There's one on each side, and there's a boss for it, but there's not. So as you saw when I tightened it, it came this way, but that's okay. Whew. You know what I'm gonna say? Strong magnet. All right. Um, ladder runs are aluminum. Hang on. We're getting creative here. Now I'm probably making you guys sick. Moving around so much. I don't have the quite the right mount for this. All right, give me a second. Hopefully this fits. I mean, it's kind of somewhat typical grinder mount. Yep, that'll fit. I mean, they had another one. They had another one that was very similar to this that I got at Northern Tool. Um, I bought that. It was kind of specifically for that, that little uh, bandsaw. I'm going to make this. I'm kind of modifying the mount in the middle of it. I'm going to make this a uh, mainly a, a vertical bandsaw for cutting small stuff. So, you know, knife out of there. But this little grinder... Let me tell you, I mean, I need to, uh, I'm going to make a different table for it here because this table's not amazing. I'm trying to do it one handed, not bolt it down. Um, anyways, I'm going to make a different table for it because the table's not very big. I'm going to make something, I don't know, about out to here, probably like so. Have it cut in that much. I just wish that table was a little bigger. Um, I did already use this. That's a light, but I didn't put the batteries in it. Or maybe I did and they're dead already. I don't think I did. Um, anyways, I won't use it. But this little uh, this little belt grinder is pretty awesome. 3450 wheel speed. Belt speed's 4480. Um, it's a 2x42, and it came with 120, 120 grit on it. It's a... Um, you know, just a 110, 120 grinder. I needed a grinder anyways. I'm going to, I'm going to change out this wheel. I think it even says, uh, 60 grit, I guess. It's a, a medium wheel. I want a coarse wheel, something that I can actually use as a grinder. Um, but the belt side of this, so I've already used this. Uh, this is a ceramic belt. And I put, this one's a 60, and I bought a bunch of belts. Um, but I watched some reviews on this, and this thing was, was pretty wicked. Um, you can actually adjust it to where you can make this lay down. This is your tensioner. You can see, quick belt tension. I took the side cover off. I'm going to leave the side cover off. I know, dangerous. Um, I'm probably going to take, well, maybe I already took it off. There was a little piece down there that if you had it on you couldn't get the belt off very easy i just took it off there's a lot of guys that modify this so they can get to that small wheel i don't know time will tell i may end up uh i may end up taking half of this maybe to where i can use that small wheel but as you know i like doing metal work um i would love to do knives i haven't had time to do it here's one of a uh, one of two belt grinders i have I bought this from a guy. He was pretty handy, as you can see. It looks pretty good. I was getting ready to build one. I found this cheap. It's got a big motor with it, and I was like, hmm, let's do that. So I bought that. Never got it going. Uh, that was a grinder stand that I made for a grinder that ended up blowing up. So I put that on there, and now it's back heavy because of the motor. Actually, David did that for me. He mounted it and hung the motor on it real quick. So then, since I didn't get that done... I thought, you know what, I'll order one of these. Well, I ordered one of these. I made me a stand for it, really nice stand. I ordered a motor for it, three-phase motor. I wired said motor 
to uh, the KB Genesis here so I can have a VFD. And I had it in a box, brand new for a year, about a year and two months. Um, finally got around to wiring it up uh, not too long ago. The VFD's bad. No longer under warranty because it has a one year warranty on it. And it sat in a box for probably a year, year and a half, brand new. So I still don't have this grinder done and or belt grinder done. And I'm like, you know what? I could buy one of those. I need a bench grinder anyways. And I used the uh, I used the belt the other day. You'll see it in a video. Um, I was actually helping Corey. We put an extra leaf in his leaf springs on his F-150. And this belt grinder is pretty legit. It worked really good. So uh, let me get some bolts in this. And uh, maybe I'll grab something and I'll, I'll plug an extension cord into it real quick. And I'll kind of show you what it does. Um, but I figured I'd... I'd show you the belt grinder. It's a buck tool. Um, I don't even remember. I think I got it on Amazon. Uh, you can get them everywhere. Amazon, eBay, whatever your favorite e-store is. Um, but I'm going to see if I've got some bolts for this. And we'll bolt this thing up real quick. All right. Well, here's, here's some thinner stock. I don't know, eighth inch. I don't know what that is. It's, it's probably flat bar. I was gonna say plate, but it's not. Here's quarter inch, that's two by two angle. Um, I thought, you know, that would be something that I would generally do. That bevel there, I might, you know, make it 90 degrees or I might bevel it back to weld into. So I'll show you both. I mean, I was pushing into it pretty hard. Um, you know, I could probably stop it if we needed to, but we, that's not what you're using it for. You're using it to take material off. Um, I, I don't have high hopes for the, the medium wheel here. I, let's see. I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. I got a better use for that here in a minute. All right, that's beveled. Let's see. I was pushing into it pretty hard. That was pretty good. Hang on. I grabbed one of my favorite tools, as you know, railroad spike. And then let's uh, let's see if we can clean these up. This one's horrible. It's pretty blunt. Bad. I kind of like that little tray. I thought that was gimmicky, but um,
not bad. I mean, that's, it's got good power. Let's go after my favorite tool. That one's pretty messed up. Not bad. I started to change the way I ground it, so I don't know. I've got some foobar going on. That side looks a lot better, but not a bad little driver. It's not super loud. Um, they didn't give it to me. I bought it. I don't remember. You have to look on Amazon. I don't remember how much it was. Um, I probably, I think I'm a little proud there. Uh, let's see. It sounds like the back of the belt's rolling on it. Probably don't need to be that proud on it. There we go. Um, anyways, it's, uh, let's see. It's quieter. Now, I don't know if it is on camera, but that's definitely quieter. Um, this is kind of gimmicky. I wish this had a wire or something for the light to come on. It's got batteries in it. If you're in a cold shop like me, the batteries are going to be dead. The light's not going to work. Um, it kind of, it would be kind of nice to have some light on the, on the project there. But anyways, little Harbor Freight stand. I don't buy a lot of stuff at Harbor Freight. I tell you that all the time. Um, 50 bucks. I was going to build one and I saw this little thing and I'm like, oh, that'll be okay. I think I'm going to get some rubber feet, some studded feet for it to give it some traction. My thought was, since it's a, a small three-legged thing, if I needed to, I could put my foot on it and I could hold it. But it's it's stable. I mean, if you push on it crazy, it's going to go over. But, you know, I, I was pushing on it adequately to do the work and it did just fine. So, and I thought this was kind of dumb. But I, I do kind of like the little tray on it. Uh, anyway, so there you go. That's my little, my new little belt grinder. Um, if you guys need something like that in your shop, I don't remember what it cost, but it was not very expensive at all. Um, and I know everybody, you know, very expensive is relative to, to what people are thinking. But um, for what you're getting, it, it's not a bad deal. I'll probably get me a course wheel. I'm probably going to switch it out to a course wheel. Um, but it's a buck tool. And uh, what's the model number? There's a couple models, a BG2600. There's some older models and some different models. Um, this is the one I kind of liked. And like I said, I don't remember. How do you, maybe you have to loosen it. So you loosen this right here. It's not toolless. You loosen it. And this will actually lay down. And that's what this little bumper's for. I guess it's supposed to lay on your table. Obviously, I don't have a table, but you could lay this, you know, you could rotate this down to where you could use it, you know, on the top side. You could pull your table off and you could use that whole surface. Um, anyways, but for the money, a good little, a good little belt grinder. Like I said, I just needed something like the other day 
we were taking uh, bolt heads off like some half inch bolts. Uh, we put some springs in for Corey. Look for that video and you'll see it. But we literally just rounded the heads off the bolt to make uh, to make leaf spring pins. But anyways, um, I don't know. That did, that did a pretty good job. I bought a whole bunch of belts too uh, off of Amazon. I don't remember what brand this is. There was one brand that was pretty prevalent on there and that's what i bought i figured they'd be pretty good and it's a ceramic and it does do pretty good as you saw uh, it'll definitely fit my needs but as always you guys have a good weekend um if this you know i don't know when it's going to come on uh you guys have a good day i guess and uh we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching